piece of deep seek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake up call for our industries that we need to be laser focused on competing to win. A new Chinese artificial intelligence tool is raising concerns from Silicon Valley to Wall Street this morning. It's called Deep Seek. A relatively unknown AI startup suddenly shakes the entire tech industry, sending shockwaves through Silicon Valley. A company that no one saw coming, Deep Seek, has just unveiled an AI model that reportedly outperforms some of the biggest names in artificial intelligence. And here's the kicker. They did it with a fraction of the budget that industry giants like OpenAI, Google, and Meta are burning through every year. This isn't just another AI announcement. This is a paradigm shift that could redefine everything we thought we knew about AI development. DeepSeek's Janus Pro and R1 models have emerged seemingly out of nowhere, yet they claim to rival some of the best AI models on the planet. They've done what was thought to be impossible achieving GPT-4 level performance without spending billions on high-end AI chips. China's latest AI breakthrough has leapfrogged the world. I think we should take the development out of China very, very seriously. A game-changing move that does not come from OpenAI, Google, or Meta. There is a new model that has all of the valley buzzing. But that's just the beginning. Their rise has sparked panic among major corporations, caused a market meltdown, and even triggered responses from world governments. Could this be the moment that changes the trajectory of artificial intelligence forever? Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll see why DeepSeek is making big tech very nervous. And before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button on AI Unpack for more deep dives into the latest AI breakthroughs. Now let's get into it. DeepSeek's Breakthrough the rise of Janus Pro. DeepSeek has emerged as a serious disruptor in the AI world, and its latest releases are proof. The company recently launched Janus Pro, a multimodal AI model family, and R1, a cutting-edge language model. But what makes these releases so significant? First, Janus Pro 7B has reportedly outperformed OpenAI's Dolly 3, Pixar Alpha, and Emu 3 Gen in key AI benchmarks like Gen EVL and DPG Bench. But from a Chinese lab called DeepSea. It's opened a lot of eyes of like what is actually happening in AI in China. What took Google and OpenAI years and hundreds of millions of dollars to build, DeepSeek says took it just two months and less than $6 million. These benchmarks assess a model's capabilities in areas such as image generation, text understanding, and multimodal reasoning. If DeepSeek's claims are true, then we're looking at a serious competitor to some of the biggest names in AI. But the real shocker is the cost of development. DeepSeek claims that R1 was built for just five hours to $6 million. In contrast, OpenAI and other tech giants are investing billions in model training and infrastructure. This raises some pressing questions. Are we witnessing a fundamental shift in how AI is developed? Have the major players been overspending this whole time? And most importantly, could smaller, more agile companies like DeepSeek completely disrupt the AI landscape? Another reason DeepSeek is making waves is its commitment to open source AI. Unlike OpenAI and Google, which keep their most advanced models behind proprietary APIs, DeepSeek has made Janus Pro publicly available on platforms like Hugging Face. This allows developers around the world to experiment, refine, and enhance the model, potentially accelerating its evolution beyond what DeepSeek itself envisioned. This strategy isn't just about transparency, it's about challenging the AI status quo. By making Janus Pro open source, DeepSeek is betting on the power of collective intelligence to push AI forward. It also poses a direct challenge to closed-door development strategies used by companies like OpenAI and Meta, forcing the industry to rethink how AI should be built and distributed. DeepSeek's rapid ascent has already sparked heated discussions. Some experts are questioning whether Janus Pro and R1 are truly as powerful as advertised. After all, while benchmarks provide useful insights, real-world performance is another matter entirely. Does Janus Pro have what it takes to challenge GPT-4, Gemini, and Claude in everyday applications? Only time will tell. DeepSeek has forced the AI world to sit up and pay attention. Whether they succeed or not, their approach is already influencing the next phase of AI development, and that alone is a huge achievement. The Market Meltdown and Global Reactions 
DeepSeek's explosive rise didn't just shake up the AI world, it sent shockwaves through global markets and political arenas. Let's talk about NVIDIA's market collapse. The revelation that DeepSeek achieved near GPT-4 performance using lower-end chips led to a massive sell-off in NVIDIA stocks. Investors feared that if AI could be developed without cutting-edge hardware, the demand for expensive GPUs might plummet. Within a day, NVIDIA's valuation dropped by a staggering $600 billion, causing one of the most dramatic single-day losses in tech history. Other chip makers like AMD and Intel also saw declines as panic spread across the semiconductor industry. But the impact didn't stop there. The U.S. government took immediate notice. President Biden's administration had already been pushing for AI regulation and national security measures around advanced AI chips. But DeepSeek's breakthrough, coming from a Chinese-backed company, escalated tensions. Politicians from both sides of the aisle called for even stricter export controls, fearing that U.S. companies could be left behind. Former President Trump also weighed in, calling it a wake-up call for American tech dominance. He warned that if companies like OpenAI and Google didn't move faster, the AI race could tilt in China's favor. Meanwhile, DeepSeek faced a mysterious cyber attack just as its AI assistant soared to the top of the Apple App Store in the U.S. This happened right when demand was peaking and their servers crashed for hours. Some speculated that this was corporate sabotage, while others pointed to geopolitical hacking groups. The truth remains unclear, but it added another layer of drama to DeepSeek's sudden rise. Another critical issue was skepticism from AI researchers. Many questioned whether DeepSeek's low-cost approach really matched the quality of top-tier models like GPT-4. Some analysts speculated that DeepSeek might have cut corners, leveraging open-source breakthroughs from companies like Meta and Alibaba without revealing the full details. The global AI landscape started shifting. The European Union accelerated its AI regulations, pushing for new rules to govern open-source AI models like Janus Pro. Meanwhile, Silicon Valley companies doubled down on their AI investments with OpenAI's Sam Altman declaring that bigger and better models were on the way. Google and Amazon also boosted their AI spending, vowing not to let DeepSeek steal the spotlight. DeepSeek had forced the world to take notice, and the AI race had officially entered a new era the open source revolution and the future of AI. DeepSeek's decision to go fully open source has set off a chain reaction that could alter the AI landscape forever. The implications of this move extend far beyond just technological advancements. It challenges the economic power structures, intellectual property norms, and geopolitical control over artificial intelligence. Historically, AI has been a closed door endeavor dominated by tech behemoths that control access to cutting-edge models through proprietary APIs and cloud services. OpenAI, Google DeepMind, and Meta have kept their most powerful AI tools behind walled gardens, forcing businesses, developers, and researchers to depend on their infrastructures. DeepSeek is tearing down that model. By making Janus Pro publicly available on Hugging Face, DeepSeek has unleashed a wave of collaborative innovation. Researchers, independent developers, and even competitors now have the ability to fine-tune and improve the model. This democratization of AI could significantly accelerate advancements, something that closed-source giants simply cannot control. But open-source AI is a double-edged sword. While it encourages innovation, it also raises serious security concerns. Governments and regulatory bodies fear that freely available models could be exploited for malicious purposes, including cyber warfare, misinformation campaigns, and automated hacking. This has sparked urgent discussions in policy circles about the need for AI regulation in an era where anyone can access and modify powerful AI tools. DeepSeek's open source strategy has put Silicon Valley in a lose-lose situation. If companies like OpenAI and Google stick to their high-cost, proprietary models, they risk being left behind by cheaper, community-driven AI alternatives. But if they embrace open source, they sacrifice their profit-driven AI business models, which rely on selling access rather than distributing technology freely. Sam Altman's response was immediate. OpenAI is doubling down on bigger, more powerful models. Their plan? 
to outscale competitors by using trillions of parameters and vast computing power, ensuring that even open source alternatives can't match their proprietary models. Meanwhile, Meta and Google are exploring hybrid approaches, releasing limited versions of their AI models while keeping the most powerful versions locked behind paywalls. The global AI arms race intensifies. DeepSeek's rise is not just a technological shift, it's a geopolitical earthquake. With a Chinese-backed company setting new AI standards, the US, Europe, and other global powers are reassessing their AI strategies. The U.S. is ramping up AI funding, pushing for massive federal investment into domestic AI research. New AI legislation is also in the works to monitor and regulate open source developments, ensuring they don't pose security threats. China is doubling down on AI dominance, viewing DeepSeek's success as proof that it can compete with and even surpass Western AI firms. Beijing has announced major investments into AI infrastructure, further escalating the technological Cold War. The EU is tightening AI laws, aiming to set global regulatory standards that could shape how AI is developed and distributed worldwide. If their policies gain traction, we could see mandatory licensing for AI models, effectively curbing the spread of uncontrolled open source AI. The AI game has changed forever. Whether DeepSeek becomes the dominant force or not, its actions have already forced a fundamental reassessment of how AI should be built, controlled, and distributed. We could be entering an era where open source AI becomes the new standard, leading to unprecedented collaboration, rapid advancements, and global accessibility. On the other hand, we may also see increased restrictions, regulatory crackdowns, and fierce competition from proprietary AI firms trying to maintain control. But in the end, the biggest question remains, who will truly benefit from this revolution? Companies, governments, or the global community? So what does this all mean for the future of AI? DeepSeek has shaken the very foundation of the AI industry, proving that smaller, agile teams can compete with corporate giants. Their open source approach has not only democratized AI development, but also sparked global debates on regulation, security, and competition. Big tech is now forced to adapt or risk becoming obsolete. Governments are scrambling to reassess their AI strategies. And the open source community has been empowered like never before. The question is no longer if DeepSeek has changed the game, it's how far-reaching that change will be. Will AI development now shift towards efficiency-driven innovation rather than massive billion-dollar compute models? Will governments step in to regulate open-source AI before it spirals out of control? Or will DeepSeek's rise be just another momentary disruption before Silicon Valley reclaims its dominance? One thing is certain. The AI revolution has only just begun. What do you think? Is DeepSeek's success the beginning of a new AI era, or will big tech fight back and maintain its dominance? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you found this deep dive informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more cutting-edge AI insights here on AI Unpack. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.